can think five times faster than someone can speak. I know that's amazing. Now, how does that affect your marriage? So here's an example. If Nancy's talking to me, I have extra time that I've got to decide how to use. Option one, I can be thinking about what I will do when she finishes talking. One of the problems with this, a big problem, is that if she asks me about what she was saying, I'll have nothing to give her back but a blank stare. This is not an option that will do anything positive for my marriage. Option two, if we're in a discussion or an argument, I can be thinking about my great rebuttal that I present when she finishes talking. Again, she'll know that I didn't hear anything she was saying. I will thus probably lose the argument and I'm going to frustrate her. This does nothing good for my marriage. Option three, I can purposely focus on every word she's saying. Then when she finishes, I can respond in a way that shows I heard what she said. That connects us. That keeps us focused on the subject. This is a win-win type of communication for our marriage. The next time you're in discussion with your spouse, remember these three options. Then choose option three. Your one thing today, when talking to your spouse today, focus and listen well.